As employees of Brigham and Women's Faulkner Hospital, we are the heirs to a culture of compassion, kindness, teamwork, determination, and excellence that spans more than 100 years. We're often recognized for the work that we do, some small accomplishments and some really big ones. And we've been known to have a party or two of our own. We appreciate the recognition, but really we're more interested in seeing our success through the care that we provide to our patients. We've seen some tough and really sad times recently. The COVID-19 pandemic was probably the darkest and saddest episode in the history of the Faulkner. We were all stunned and frightened and our hearts sank. So we did what we always do at the Faulkner. We swallowed hard, we stood up, and we got back to work. And we changed almost everything in the hospital. How we cared for our patients, how we met with each other, pretty much everything. All of you were asked to do so much so differently. It was hard and disorienting and exhausting and frightening and often profoundly sad. But we began to feel the support again and our smiles slowly began to return to our faces, even behind our masks. We asked our community for help and they responded with countless messages of support and inspiration. They donated supplies and dropped by to send their love they sent drinks to keep us hydrated and food to keep us going. And we took care of one another, as we always do. We all worked overtime to motivate and inspire each other and showed that we are Faulkner strong. We carried on in our new normal. We showed strength, compassion, and fearlessness. And we continue to carry on. We're ready to welcome all of our coworkers back to the hospital, and we will soon be ready to take care of all of our patients. We're all in. This is who we are at Brigham and Women's Faulkner Hospital. As your president, I couldn't be more proud of every last one of you. You've worked tirelessly for a dozen weeks now in the toughest conditions I could think of to take care of our very sick and desperate COVID patients. And you did so with such amazing courage and determination. We know that our work with COVID isn't over, but we're on the other side of this crisis. And I have hope, we have hope, it's inadequate to say thank you, but I will, with a heart full of pride and amazement and gratitude for every employee of this noble hospital. Thank you.